It's called Gracefield Messages on Discipline. Confidence in Discipline, the Key to Growing in Christ. And it's by David Benjamin. And that's his website where you can find all the books. And uh, they're available ebook or um, paperback. And, uh, okay. Okay. Um, sorry I didn't have a tip it out yesterday. Um, I had to uh, go get some blood work done, and uh, I was exhausted afterwards, so I slept most of the day, <laughs> pretty much majority of the day, so uh, today I feel a lot better, praise God, um, and uh, I'm having a good day, so all glory to God. Um, I really uh, I, uh, appreciate when I have good days, <laughs> because uh, I don't have many, <laughs> so anyway, God's positive discipline, lifting up and pruning. John 15, 2. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Amen. Though the King James is the best English version we have, it's still important to look at the Greek. In this case, Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away, speaks not just of taking away as in a removing, but taking away as in lifting up. Amen. The word can mean to raise up, to suspend, to carry, and lift. While it can have a negative uh, connotation in the context of the vineyard, the unhealthy branch is lifted and put on a special structure, a lattice, where it receives special attention. Remember, the branches are the sons of God. They are in Christ. You must understand this relationship before you approach and interpret these verses. Amen. It is sad that people read this, thinking the Father is in the vineyard to rip you out, throw you away, and cast you into the fire. They forget he is the Father and forget the branches are sons who are part of Christ. Amen. This is the Son of God with his many members, the body of Christ, an organism where all members are dwelt by the same life. God has committed himself to carrying, or excuse me, God has committed himself to caring for the branches of this of this vine. Amen. With this in view, I believe taking away or take away is better translated as lifted up. Amen. John 15:2 Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he lifts up, and every branch that bears fruit, he purges or prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Amen. Branches that are not bearing fruit are lifted up for special care, but even branches that are bearing fruit are pruned. The Father does, the, the father does do a pruning work for branches bearing fruit. Pruning is not necessarily the result of you doing something bad. It is because you are bearing fruit. The Lord shippers do not allow all seasons in the Christian life. They refuse to acknowledge seasons of bareness where you are being pruned back in order to bear more excellent fruit. Amen. If you go through such a dry and barren season, a Lord Shipper will say, you must have sinned. That's why you are being disciplined. I've heard that so many times growing up. Anyway, I digress. Uh, this discipline from God's point of view is not justice. Is not justice being met out of? Let me try that again. Discipline from God's point of view is not justice being met out for your sins. It's a training in righteousness. It's a training in partaking of His holiness. It's a training in exercising your senses to determine between good and evil and to discern in Hebrews 5:14 and if you 
are good, it shows you have an aptitude and he is going to train you even more. This is the father's discipline. For their good, all genuine sons receive the father's discipline. Hebrews 12, 10. Amen. Though that bear, though those that bear fruit, he prunes, but the branches that do not bear fruit, he lifts up. Both are receiving attention. They may perceive they they may perceive is negative, so they must remember the husbandman is their father who loves them. John fifteen three through four. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, no more can you accept you abide in no more can no more can ye accept you abide in me. That's kind of a little twister there for me. Sorry, um, we are clean in him because of the word he has spoken to us. Amen. His word is likened to a washing called the washing of the water of the word. Ephesians 5.26. Amen. When we received the gospel by believing it, we were washed and renewed. 1 Corinthians 6.11 and Titus 3.5. Amen. This washing cleansed us and now Jesus declares we are clean in him. Amen. Now that we are clean in him, the focus of the Father is fruit bearing while the focus of the branch is abiding in the vine. We abide through the word we received. By this word, we were washed and made clean. John fifteen three. Amen. Fruit bearing is not the word of the branch. No, excuse me. Fruit bearing is not the work of the branch. The emphasis for the branch is not fruit bearing, but abiding. As we abide in him, we bear fruit. This abiding in him has to do with being in him and he in us amen it has it has to do with the flowing of his life amen who is in charge of the life christ is amen jesus said i have the authority to give life to those that you have given me john 5 26 through 29 john 17 2 Amen. He is the one who he, he is the one with the authority to give to give the life. You cannot make life happen. All you can do is abide in the Lord. He promises that if you do, you will bear much fruit. Again, this is not the work of the flesh or the work of effort. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a rest of dwelling in the Lord. Abide in me. Amen. You are in him already. You have been grafted in and are indwelt by him. You are sealed by him and are saved in him. You are a member of him. You must see the relationship before you can understand these verses. Amen. John fifteen five, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him. The same brings forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Amen. Once again, this must be Christ. It is he who produces the fruit. The life of the branch is not the life of self-effort. It is the life of Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Galatians 2.20. Amen. I love that verse. Ah, I am a vine, or excuse me, I am a branch of the vine and the life of the vine must flow through me to produce fruit. My job is simply to abide in him. Amen.